Hello there. Welcome back to French Fries. Today we shall begin with no lesson. Yes, we shall begin with no lesson, but a pronunciation and spelling session. All right, so let's get started. So first, what is this pronunciation and spelling session for? Well, it's because in the previous video many of you have not been able to pronounce and spell the words i had taught over there which video am i talking about i'm talking about 11 parts of the body in french well if you haven't watched it go on i've provided the link for you in the description box please click on the link after watching this video and give a like over there and if you have not subscribed please do so so let's get started now first we shall begin with the pronunciation session the first particularly difficult word you may have faced was i in french not the i which means me the i the body part it is oeil in french How am I pronouncing it? Ail, a uh, ail. The pronunciation is somewhat like. Let me write it on the whiteboard. So as I've written over here, it is a a il, a a il. Repeat with me, a a il. Now, if you add these three syllables together, you get. Ail, a ail, ail. So you see, if I pronounced it in the English way, I would have ail, ail. Perhaps I would have ail. But in French, we have a ail, ail. You see, the longer I stretch the e in a, the deeper the e goes down through my throat. So it goes like. A ail, a ail, a ail. Got it? All right. So now for the next word. So the next word is visage. I've already written how you have to pronounce it. V s i a g e V s i a g e You're not saying visage. We are saying visage. It's more of like sh and j, s h and j. So it's between them actually. So it's j, visage. I hope you have got this. Are you wondering what this means? What does visage mean? It means face in French. If you do not know this, please go back to my previous video, and over there, apart from visage, you can learn about ten more body parts from there. All right, so now we move on to the next and last word. The next word is oreil, which means ear in French. Fun fact: oreil means ear. And here in French, one's a verb and one's a noun. All right, so this is the pronunciation. Oh, hail! It's not hail actually. It's hail, hail, oh hail. But if you're a complete beginner, you might say oh hail. That's why I've given oh hail, not oh hail. Besides. Hail would be a lot more difficult to write over here. Okay, so you have to uh, write like I mean pronounce it like oh hail for beginners. Once you go to higher levels, you must say oh hail, or else if you meet a native French speaker, the French speaker can criticize you. But if he or she doesn't know enough French, then he or she will not. But that situation is not really likely to happen in real life. It's best to stay prepared. That's all. 
Now we go on to the next word. So now we move on to our first word in the spelling session. So the first word we shall be announcing the spellings of is jambe which means leg in French as I've already mentioned in the previous video. Alright, so how do we spell jambe? We spell jambe like this. Okay, so if for instance you've written J-A-M because the pronunciation sounds a bit like that, like jam, jam. I'm actually saying jam, but um, maybe you couldn't get a chance to hear it properly. So you write J A M, which is jam in English language. It's pretty common, uh, like a little bit funny, if you ask me. So uh, the pronunciation is jam. So you might confuse it. You might even write jam and add a B. And I don't blame you. It's not your fault. It's, uh, the French is a little bit complicated. But once you get to know it, once you get to immerse yourself in the language, you can be, uh, you can interpret the pronunciation and spellings of any word you like. Alright, so the spelling, if you write, um, if you cross out the E, this is wrong. The spelling is wrong. And if you go too far and cross out the B, that is further than too far. Okay. So the correct spelling will be B and E. Jambe. So over here, what you have learnt or what I am trying to teach you is never ever depend too much on the pronunciation of the words. Pronunciations can mislead you like anything. The next word is cheek in French which is joue. joue. So if I asked you to spell it. Many of you would spell it as S-H-O-O and I don't blame you for that. Shoo. Shoo. What a wonderful word. A fly comes and I say shoo. But that is not how it's going to work. It is a joo. So how will you spell that? Surely not as S-H-U? No, certainly not. Okay, let me insert a, uh, a fun tidbit over here. S H U, Shu, is the god of wind or air in Egyptian mythology. Now back to business, please. The correct spelling is J O U E. Even in here, the lesson is the same. Never depend on the pronunciation as I've already showed you in Jamb. The pronunciation sounds like shu, shu, but the spelling starts with J, not S and H. Got it? Now over to the next word. Now this isn't actually a word, it's more like an alphabet or a letter. So uh, it's, it's pronounced as A, not E, it's pronounced as A. This was not mentioned in the previous video, but I am teaching you this because it may come in use to you in the later videos and maybe later in life. When do we put the slash on top of the E? Okay, so let's take an example. Uh, say elephant in French, which is elephant. Elephant. Give me a minute while I write it on the whiteboard. So over here, the French for elephant is elephant. Elephant. Why is it elephant and not elephant? Because there are E's over here. And similar to English, why is it not elephant or elephant? Because this is French, not English. It is not 
elephant or elephant because there is a small slash on top of both the e's this slash means that the e will not be pronounced as e but it shall be pronounced as a uh, okay let me give you an example so it's like if somebody asks you a question you go on while answering it and you say eh uh, i really don't know what is that a eh sounding like e h but you pronounce it as a eh. same way you shall pronounce both the e's like a eh. elephant elephant got it i hope you did now over here you can depend on the pronunciation because it is elephant so you know that it's a not e you have you can put the slash on top of the e afterwards if the spelling turns out to be wrong then you can obviously recheck because french as i've already told you is a really complicated language unless you learn from mistakes you can never improve over to the last word of the spelling session the last word is dinosaur dinosaur it is dinosaur in french dinosaur now if i asked you to write the spelling without seeing this what could you write what would you write you uh, may write dinosaur you might write a z in place of the s but that is incorrect even though it might sound as dinosaur it is dinosaur always always remember the spellings in your head make a mental note so the spelling will not be dinosaur there will be no z over here s is absolutely correct got it thanks for watching please like and subscribe and don't forget to share